Hello Rust developers and welcome to the Rust project video series. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Marco Arruda and today we are going to learn about URDF inertias and why it's so important to have a robot simulation. In this video you'll learn how to set inertia values for each element of a robot and later see this robot in a gazebo simulation. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you'll find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required, you'll find a link to the academy on the video description. Now let's start with our project. So in order to keep going with the project, I'm going to use RDS, ROS Development Studio, provided by the Construct. If you don't have an account yet, you can follow the link at the description of the video and create one for free and start using the system for free. So after having your account in RDS, you're going to be able to see the list of public projects. But in this case, I'm going to create my own project for the third video of the series. So let's start creating here uh, my robot manipulator. Video number three. Let's create a project and it's done. Let's open it. And I'm going to start from the scratch from our repository. Okay, you can find the link to the repository on the description of the video. And first of all, let's start cloning the source code, open a shell, and remember that we are gonna we are working on a simulation, so you have to clone it on the simulation workspace. So simulation workspace source folder, let's clone it. There it is. I have to compile to make sure all the header files are present in my workspace, so we can use it from command shell. Let's wait a few seconds. In the meantime, let's open the source code and see what do we have to modify in order to have the inertia of the robot. So here we have the source code inside the URDF folder. We have the main file of the robot. And in the previous video, we have defined some macros to make our lives easier. And we are gonna keep uh, using it. After all, we have to increase, we have to to add the number of properties we have inside of each link of our robot. So these are uh, these two macros here, okay? So it's compiled already. I don't need the terminal for instance. So first thing is that inside the link, uh, the link property, we have visual, for instance, only visual, but we need also to in include uh, two more properties for a simulation, which are the inertia and also the collision, okay? So I have here it done in, in an external file. I'm gonna copy, paste, and explain line by line what we're doing. So first of all, for the first, the first macro, we have a link for the cylinder. So let me copy here. And we need the inertia. And I'm including also new properties here because it's necessary. First thing is inertia, we, we have to set the mass of the robot, so let's include here mass. Uh, we are using the same origin for row, pitch and yaw, and x, y and z position, and we have also to include the tensure matrix, so that's the, I'm gonna call it only inertia, so let's put here these parameters because they are necessary for the robot, for a robot, for any robot to be simulated by gazebo. Okay, so these are the properties we need. And after having the inertia, we need also the collision. And you may notice that the collision is the same thing of the visual part. And why is that? Because for the simulator, uh, we have to tell the, to the simulator, uh, which kind of shape you want to use for a collision. And you may have, because you may have a more complex shape for the visual, just to have a nice robot to be presented. But 
maybe sometimes it's not required to have a very complex shape in the collision because uh, you may don't want to to collide the robot with something else okay that's why you have two properties and using here in this case using the same shape but that's why it's necessary to have these two properties okay uh, so that's for the cylinder let's do the same now for the cube so I'm including the inertia and the same thing here mass origin and inertia same properties so we have to add here mass inertia values six properties three by three matrix but we have uh, some equal values inside it and finally the collision there it is so now we have to because we have more parameters in the chakra so we have to put these values here okay uh, let's take a look inside in our uh, okay in our model so here we have a link for the box which is I'm calling base link and then we have another link it's a cylinder and one two three four five cylinders okay the first one is is the one which is closer to the base link so it's a different one and the next three they are equal they are the same cylinder okay same radius and length so we're gonna use the same properties and the last one is a minor which is where we are gonna put an end effector in next videos so let's start doing it so for the box I'm gonna put uh, here after the origin the mass of the box I have defined some values previously so I'm just gonna copy and paste of course because it depends on your own project okay it's not something that we're gonna invent right now or define right now because it's something that has be predefined so let me copy and paste the values here so we have six values remember these six values here and these are the values I'm filling in the other file okay now for the next link we have to put to insert again the mass I'm putting it after the origin so we have the mass you see that's a different value and the inertia now for the next three we have the same values for all of them uh, this is a joint this is a link one two and three and for the final link we have a different value because it's a minor piece of the robot that's it okay so one thing that now we can open the same robot in Arvis again I had a shop for so ROS launch my robotic manipulator RVs and let's open the graphical tools so we can see the robot there it is so we have the robot here and as you can see before we couldn't see the collision of the robot now we can see you see that the shape of the robot is uh, the color is more alive let's say because now the robot has the collisions okay and due to the inertia that we have also added to the robot we can simulate the scene so let's start an empty simulation And in the meantime, while we have the simulation ready, we can open our gazebo simulator. Here it is. And now we can open the simulation. So let's spawn the robot. Let's start creating a launch file for the for the spawning process. So let's call it 
spawn launch and I have this file ready again this is an XML file so we are basically defining a robot description per parameter we are using Chakra we are looking inside the my robot manipulator description URDF main Chakra file and we are spawning in this position because we have uh, the base link is a cube of one meter but the origin is at the center of this cube so we have to put this offset of half a meter to spawn the robot exactly over the the ground of the simulation okay and a node which is my my bot spawn to spawn the robot exactly in this position we are defining here okay now let's try to spawn it so we have the simulation and ROS launch my robotic manipulator description spawn there it is and let's wait a few seconds I'm gonna try to pause the simulation when the robot appears and there it is paused there is our robot as you can see uh, I'm gonna resume the simulation but you may notice that the robot's gonna fall of course because we haven't applied any controls to the robot okay so it means that it's working nice so that's all for today in the description of the video you'll find a complete course about URDF and all the resources mentioned in the video did you like the video if you did please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. See you!